Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm very excited to bring to you a use case that you're going to come across very, very commonly in the Salesforce ecosystem. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can assign or remove permission set when a user is created or updated. And no, I'm not going to use flows. I'm going to do this using clicks. So let's get started. So today we are going to take a look at a use case that is very common in the Salesforce ecosystem. Whenever a user is created, normally permission sets are assigned and they are assigned in one of three ways. The first way is it is very manual. So let's say if I want a new permission set to be assigned, I'll contact someone from the support team. The administrator will go to my user record and assign permission sets. That is very commonly seen across industries. The second way is an automated way where you can build a flow. The flow might be when a user is created, updated, certain permission sets need to be assigned. With flow though, you need an administrator who can build that flow, who can test that flow and that flow has to be maintained over time. So let's say if you want to add more permission sets, revoke more permission sets, you will have to maintain that flow. So you always need someone in your organization who knows how to maintain and build a flow. Today we are going to take a look at the third option where you can automate the assignment or the removal of permission sets through the Salesforce setup. So I have already logged into my Salesforce ecosystem and I'm going to go here and click on setup. Once I'm in setup, we will type user. Once I type user, you have to select user management settings. So let's do that. What we are looking for is the user access policies. Now, if this is the first time you're trying it, this is most likely going to be disabled. So simply click on the toggle and enable it. And you can read the description here. What this says is it automates and migrates your users assignments to managed package licenses, permission sets and other access mechanisms based on the criteria that you set. All right. So you want to enable it. Once you enable it, you will see user access policies. All right. So let's click on user access policies. The first thing that we are going to do, of course, is click on new user access policy. So we have a very simple use case. Let's test this out with a very simple use case. The use case is the following. Every time a new user is created with a specific profile, we want to assign two permission sets. Okay. Just for the purposes of demo, let's assume that the profile that we are going to use is sales and then we will choose two permission sets. Okay. So I'm going to say sales user automation. Since we only have one criteria, the order number is going to be one. And let's add a description here. Assign two sales user permission sets when a user is created in Salesforce with sales profile. And I'm going to click on save. This is step one. Once you do that, we want to now start creating a criteria. We already know what the criteria is, so I can click on edit criteria. Now, this is the beauty of this particular screen. We spoke about profile, but you have many options. So you can literally automate this whole process when a user is added to a group, to a queue, a permission set, permission set group, so much more, right? So I'm going to select profile for now. And I know that I want to select sales. Okay. The next thing is, if, if you have any additional user fields to filter on, you can absolutely do that. For example, a user uh, knowledge checkbox is true or uh, the user's region is, is North America or Europe or something on those lines. You can add additional filters. In our case, we are, not, we are going to keep it simple. All right. So once you define these filters, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to define actions. What is our action? We can grant or we can revoke. In our case, we are going to grant. What is the target? We are going to assign a permission set. Simple value. Let's choose one of these values. Uh, let's choose sales. There should be some sales user. Let's see. No need maps user. Sales cloud Einstein. Let's do sales console user. Okay. That's it. Maybe we add one more. Let's do grant. And we can give this person CRM analytics. 
by the way if you have not checked out a 10 day course do check that check that out in the playlist it will give you an entire understanding of how crm analytics works this it has a project a data set you can download and you can really create some cool stuff with that playlist and the best thing is that the video is not long as well so let's go here and in this case i'm going to use crm so keep going down 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 crm where did crm go actually i think it's einstein analytics so let's do einstein analytics plus user okay and i'm going to click on save that's it okay in this case i've created a criteria that says when a profile is equal to sales assign these two permission sets okay now i have two options my two options is i can run this one single time so if i click on apply policy salesforce is going to get a list of all the users that meet this criteria and assign these permission sets that's a one time thing only it's not going to do it every single time my second option is i can click on automate policy okay when i click on automate policy i get one of these options salesforce asks me when should it assign these permission sets should it assign these permission sets when a user is created updated or both all right so before we do that we spoke about the maintenance right in terms of flow you have to go into that flow maybe you have a new version right and administrator needs to maintain the flows in this case let's assume that 6 months down the line you only want to assign one permission set or you want to assign more permission set let's let's assume we don't want this permission set to be assigned right the and uh, the the sales console user all you have to do is simply click on delete that's it right so it's it can be very very easily maintained now that we have this let's click on automate policy when a user is created okay now we have automated this now let's test this and see if this works so i'm going to go to users and i'm going to create a brand new user because we automated this for when a user is created so i'm going to go here and i'm going to call this let's say sujay user access policies okay let's give it some information user license we know is going to be salesforce this is going to be sales now that the criteria is met what we are doing is we are creating a user where the profile is going to be sales now let's click on save this is when the automation will start to run all right now the automation has finished running let's scroll down look at this salesforce automatically assigned permission sets to this user right very simple you can automate this it's going to save a lot of hours and again like i said it is super easy to maintain I hope you like this video if you found this helpful do check out other videos on my channel hit that like button hit that subscribe button and of course share this video because I truly love this feature and share this with the ecosystem and I hope that others will find this helpful as well thank you and I will see you soon